small home, medium garden, the whole of the Isle of Man. Uh, we have semi-lockdown now, so uh, I'm able to travel all around the island and today uh, I'm up right at the top at the northern tip of the island, which is called the Point of Air. Uh, quite flat uh, up here, which was where the Ice Age brought all the, uh, 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 what would you call it, the debris up here as the ice retracted north and left the flat part of the island. Um, as you can see, uh, a marvellous place to wake up and look out the bedroom window and have a sea view. So uh, I think it's time for coffee. So uh, of course this is the great thing about an RV. Uh, I've had real cafetier coffee brewing here. And uh, this is the only kind of coffee of course. You can't have the uh, instant kind one thing my German wife taught me <laughs> and I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day here I've already seen the seals outside one was a bit curious having a look at me and uh, I've got a few things to do on my computer um, uh, but where better than to sit here and look at the sea enjoy the sun very windy and cool but uh, I love it just like that of course, I'm going to spend the whole of the day here. Uh, the question is about uh, energy. So I like to use my MacBook computer and I've got solar energy. As you can see, I've got a full 13 and a half volts coming in. So totally full battery. And I can use my uh, MacBook computer. I can run my stereo system without worrying about running the batteries down. Um, and uh, yeah. I could watch the TV if I wanted to. Well, if you've uh, followed my Facebook blog and uh, also some of the other videos, uh, you may know, of course, that uh, the reason I took up this life of traveling extensively in my RV, even all across Canada to Alaska and back, um, was uh, after I lost my dear wife. Uh, she sadly died of cancer. And initially she was given six months to live and she said to me in the awkward silence as we drove home from uh, uh, the hospital appointment, uh, well I'm not sitting at home and waiting to die. So we bought this RV, the very one I'm sitting in now and uh, we went off and did as much as we could all over Europe. And uh, you know what? She didn't die after six months, she survived three years and the doctors were completely baffled because she was in stage four terminal cancer when she got the diagnosis. So I think there is something about this life which is to be recommended. Um, that's just my personal opinion and I must admit uh, I've carried on with this life and uh, I generally feel great even though I'm overweight and probably drunk too much beer in my life in the past um, but obviously in current situation with the Covid virus and lockdown uh, there's a lot of fear around and uh, until it's absolutely clear what uh, this uh, new threat is um, I try not to be frightened and to be positive and the best thing we can possibly do is to keep our immune systems uh, high. So, uh, just notice my glasses are reflecting in the camera. Um, 
so this is just stuff I do personally that I've made my own mind up to do so uh, obviously anything that you take in the way of supplements of course you should discuss with your personal doctor but uh, um, one thing I did find out at the time uh, my wife was diagnosed with cancer is that both of us had a vitamin D deficiency uh, probably because we were both working at that time, not spending enough time in the sun and during the winter, um, dark and grey. So uh, I, as a, well ever since then I take vitamin D supplements. Uh, the great thing about vitamin D of course is that if you go outside, um, the sunlight on your skin will boost vitamin D as well. So that's a great thing. Uh, also important, vitamin C. I'm on a keto diet at the moment, which means I try to avoid uh, uh, starch and sugar, uh, which means I can't eat citrus fruits, although I do occasionally. Uh, so vitamin C supplement. And then there have been some studies recently which are suggesting that uh, zinc is quite important to help uh, beat the virus. Of course, these are all preliminary studies that uh, have no absolute peer review proof at the moment but I decided to take some zinc as well and there is also a theory that green tea um, helps in the mechanism that uh, de de delivers the zinc uh, to threatened cells so that's just uh, a little regime that I'm taking and I think more important of course is get out in the sun enjoy nature and um, you know I think I'm convinced that uh, mental attitude plays a big role in our general health and uh, that I think certainly contributed to the fact that my wife lives so much longer than uh, uh, she was expected to so uh, there you are that's uh, just a little bit of personal information about what I do yeah so let's get that vitamin D